One of the two most fascinating aspects of this project was seeing how the curve mirrors, the parabolic draw reflectors, were made. Kudos to George Plack for his book and the plans to build the whole project, which is available online. To make the ribs, I imported George's templates into Adobe Illustrator and redrew them as paths. I tweaked the end shapes a little to fit the hat channels I found at my local home despot. Then I imported the Illustrator file into a computer-controlled router, which cut out the pieces. A little hand finishing with the router and belt sander. The trickiest part of making the ribs is drilling the holes in the ends. So my sister made a jig. That's her behind the jig. A few coats of primer and paint. Then I assembled the reflector frames and with the help of two friends, we snapped in the mirrors. I painted the heat transfer pipes with zinc chromate primer and high heat black. Assembling and making the frame to hold the reflectors was pretty straightforward. Because it will be used year-round here in Florida, I decided to start with a fixed angle of inclination in between summer and winter. Once the reflectors were joined together, I could begin the tracking mechanism. A friend suggested I use a battery-powered screwdriver to move the array back and forth. It was less than $20, and a piece of standard threaded rod was about $5. I had to have a piece of Delrin threaded to fit the rod and also threaded for a quarter 20 bolt. Delrin has natural lubrication for the threaded rod. The Delrin block is bolted to a little wheeled car I made using shower door wheels. This part is critical to mating the dreaded rod's linear motion to the arc of the reflectors. It lets the connection ride up and down as needed. At first, I connected the driver to a set of automobile relays and a three-position toggle switch. Once I knew for sure the unit was big enough for the job, I could move forward with the tracking control system.